Hello everyone and welcome to another InstaForex daily market analysis. Uh, for today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. We'll speak about Bitcoin dollar, dollar index, gold market, crude oil and Nasdaq 100. So we'll start with the Euro versus US dollar. What we can see here is that um, let's start from weekly time frame. Last week we had an up week, but a very weak close. We still have a sign of weakness, especially because of two weeks ago we had a strong down reversal. And on the hourly time frame, as you can see here, uh, market had a breakout. But this was pretty much noisy because of the events that we have in the US last week. But it seems like there is a very good chance in, uh, for the market to go further downside. And you know, the first downside objective is set at 1.1026, and the next one 1.0950, and then 1.0900 mark. So I see potential for the downside moment on the euro dollar. On the Bitcoin dollar, we had a downside breakout of the very important support last week. So we had a breakout of the 56,000 mark. And I only see this like a corrective structure. So uh, from my perspective, uh, there is a chance, uh, you know, we have a strong resistance at 55,400, 55,700. So I see potential for the downside continuation after we uh, finish with this potential upside correction. There will be a chance for another downside move, potential retake of 52,500 and maybe even further it's a bigger drop towards the P bar low around 50,000 mark. It's potential for the downside continuation of the Bitcoin dollar. On the dollar index, it seems like we have a low in the place. Uh, there was quite a big reaction of the previous swing low last week. So 150 is a key support, and I will not be surprised if we see the, the upside reaction towards the 10190 and then even upside movement towards the 103 on the dollar index. On the gold market, we still have a consolidation, more like a three weeks of basically consolidation. And I'm still waiting for the breakout of this consolidation in order to confirm a further directional move. Uh, the break of the 2470 uh, might be the good sign for a drop towards at least 2428. Then the rebreak of the 2535 might be a good sign for the rally towards uh, 2570. But for now, the market is just in a consolidation. Crude oil is in a down cycle. There is no question about that. that uh, we had a breakout, the very key support short term at 7260 and a very strong close near the low last week. So there is a chance for a further downside movement with a retest of 6762 and then eventual um, test of 64 mark. And on the NASDAQ 100, we spoke about the downside movement. You can see here that market had a you know, we had our normal reactions and the bear flags, and then we spoke about this uh, last uh, Friday. So there was a contraction consolidation, there was a rebreak and a further downside move, movement. So I see this like a, just a reaction, you know, we have a new momentum low, so still downside cycle and potential for the further drop at the next pivot level, I would say, is at around 70,600, and then we have a pin bar low at 70,230 mark. We all for this InstaForex daily market analysis. Have a good trading day and speak to you soon.